Okay. Adesso eh, eh, ci dovrebbe essere la registrazione anche dello schermo, ragione per cui eh, possiamo partire. Vi parlo di metodi di interpolazione. And, and now, well, now we will switch in English. This part will be in English. And the other comments and questions in Italian as usual. Uh, we are interested in field of data meaning data that are distributed over points in space. Sometimes we have um, a lot of points in space, like in this case, which is a bathymetry. And, uh, but in any case, the situation uh, where we are is like this. This is a very fortunate case, actually, where we have a lot of points. And we have to build a surface from these points. In this case, it's uh, topography, which is easy, easier to understand, but assume that is temperature instead. Nothing practically changed. Uh, topography can be, in this case, interpolated uh, with a, uh, in a surface like this one, which return in any point of the space, where, um, even where we don't have measurements. Um, uh, we, um, we have a surface now. Uh, there are many methods to obtain this, uh, these things. We will look particularly at one method. And obviously this is a, there is a certain degree of subjectivity in this uh, operation, meaning that there is not a single surface that interpolates a, a discrete number of points, but there are instead um, various surface and the two so in this infinite uh, uh, amount of choices that we have uh, we have to introduce some concepts to um, um, to get our our best choice our or the choice that is feasible for us meaning that we can obtain we not work not working too much there are various philosophies. Uh, the, the one is that uh, assuming that we have uh, po um, the measurement point as uh, error free, for instance, we want to have, have exact interpolators where we, uh, we go through the points of measurements, but otherwise we can also have approximate interpolators where, where actually uh, we don't get exactly the point of measures, but interpolate in this case, we think that the model uh, in some sense also correct the measurements. Uh, another uh, big, uh, big distinction is between global and local interpolations. Uh, sometimes well, um, how in the case uh, that we saw before, um, you have uh, uh, you have a lot of points. Doing the interpolation of all the points, especially globally, can be computationally very expensive. And um, therefore we can prefer also to go local, meaning selecting just a, a, a reasonable set of points to interpolate. This also has some uh, physical um, arguments to be supported because um, because uh, uh, usually a very distant points are not correlated, the measurement in very distant points are not correlated a, at all. They are, um, the system has not so wide, a large range of, uh, of interactions. So we can, mm, for, even for the physical mm, dynamical processes, uh, understand sometimes that we have to, uh, to concentrate just on the local data sets. Um, in a, any way, in the global, in the global uh, part, uh, we have uh, uh, um, usually, um, usually techniques to interpolate surfaces. This is the case, or again, the case of topography, uh, where uh, we uh, we have a, clearly a trend that we have a slope that is going up. And so the, the, the very first idea, very simple idea is to get a plane interpolating it. And then maybe we have residuals 
uh, to the plane on the surface and uh, we will, we can treat the residual uh, in a different way, um, in different ways if they are interesting sometimes we can decide that they are not really usual uh, useful to this residual to the problem that we are analyzing in some cases a, li a linear interpolation with a plane is not possible like in a valley like this one so we can use a global polynomial to interpolate um, the curves like the, the one that you see on on the bottom Obviously, in this case, uh, you have to face the problem to assess the values of the coefficients a, b, and c, and d, and e, and f. And uh, you have to, to, you can use various techniques of uh, uh, interpolation for doing this. Actually, the uh, very first figure that I showed to you was obtained by uh, splines, meaning Yes, uh, they were uh, they were polynomial, but they were local polynomial, and um, where uh, um, the, po the the poly the, the polynomial change locally. We are not dealing very much with this one, but you can see, for instance, the paper that is uh, in the bottom for understanding how this can be done. I know that some some one of you. Um, knows uh, uh, GRAS, the GRAS GIS, and um, for instance, the GRAS G GIS uh, has uh, this method which is called spline with um, tension to interpolate things like this. Uh, the, a, a surface which is actually a, a, a program made by Helena Mitasova and Mita, Lubos Mitas. Another simple way to interpolate the thing uh, or to, ass to assign better data to, um, to the space is to use the uh, TSEM pol polygons. This is a colorful uh, representation of TSEM polygon and the black dots are the points where we have measurements and, um, um, and the problem is how to obtain this TSEM polygon. Actually, it's very simple. But I, um, I am not explain, explaining it uh, here. You can see the, the storyboard that I made on uh, um, I made on, on the uh, blog spot and uh, in about hydrology. <coughs> Sorry, and um, I am just explaining sim simply uh, how to do it. Uh, one problem with the uh, TSM polygons is that uh, uh, they give um, discontinuous surfaces, meaning that we have jumps between various areas because you assign to any any area the same value that you have measured. So the results can be this one. As in, for some cases, it, it could be not so not so good, or in some other cases, can can be good instead, and it depends on the problem that we have. Uh, the thing is that um, actually um, uh, drawing TSM polygons is pretty easy if we have a, a, a map and if, if you do by hands drawing and uh, yes, by hands with a ruler, uh, with a, an angle um, stuff, goniometer. But it's difficult to do uh, automatically with the computers because we uh, the uh, the algorithm involved, which is a Delaunay triangulation, um, can be quite complicated. It's a problem of computational geometry, which is not uh, so simple in principle. And uh, the Delaunay, the TSM polygons that in this case are, co are called Voronoi polygons are the dual aspect of the Delaunay triangulations. So everything is in the YouTube and you can see later. And another simple way to, to deal with um, interpolation is use distance weighting. Uh, distance weighting, inverse distance weighting, sorry. Um, inverse distance weighting is um, 
uh, based on the idea that a point that are close by are, uh, affect, uh, affect each other more than distant point. And essentially, we you can say that uh, uh, the measure Z0 in uh, the point zero is just the, com the linear combination of the measurement we have in, in other different point, uh, Xi sub I. And uh, we have some weights, omega high, that uh, depends on distance. Uh, these weights uh, actually are given by this formula, which is where d high is the distance of the high point to the uh, to the zero point, and n is an exponent, usually positive. So you see minus n over there is like one over d elevated to the n, and the sum of weight is. Um, uh, uh, is normalized, as you see here, by the, the total sum of weights. So uh, the total sum of the distances. So the total sum of uh, omega high is actually one, and you can prove it easily if you sum, it, sum them. Uh, also for this uh, distance weighting uh, characteristics, there is a storyboard on the about hydrology blogspot and that uh, and and that is also in Italian, so you you can see it later. The result of the distance weighting is a, a case like this one that can be nice or not nice, but uh, um, the these kind of features that you see here are called. Uh, bull eyes, and um, uh, they are usually uh, thought not to be really, um, really, be really, uh, really reliable, and uh, they are thought to be uh, more artifacts of the product. Anyway, uh, Eastern, uh, high divu or Eastern inverse distance weighting is a very easy to implement in computer, and. Um, therefore is very much used. So thank you, this is the first part of the thing. Now I, um, we pass to 